before the video starts, I just want to tell you guys to please subscribe to the channel for more NBA content like this. I post two videos a week on all things NBA basketball, so if that's something you're interested in, I would appreciate the support. Also, please be sure to leave a like on the video, that helps a lot with helping this channel grow. Anyways, back It has been only 24 hours since the NBA season started, and we are already in complete chaos. If you don't know already, by the time you're, you know, you're watching this video, hopefully you already know, the Rockets game got postponed, the Rockets and Oklahoma City Thunder game, because of the Houston Rockets and their horrible handling of COVID. And for this entire day, it has just been an entire mess. More details come out as time goes on and we're just starting to learn how much of a mess this is and how much of a challenge the NBA is going to have making this season as less chaotic as possible. And part of it you can argue is because of the situation that happened specifically with Houston and James Harden who is, you know, we'll talk about this. Let me just start off with this because the situation with Houston is just, it's it would if it wasn't like actually putting people in danger and if we weren't in a, in the middle of a pandemic that is actually like killing people this whole situation would be funny but because there are actual like lives at in danger with this stuff it's not funny and it's actually like kind of enraging the way it's all going down but basically the Houston Rockets don't have enough players for today you know you need 8 at the minimum and James Harden, because of his antics, there's only seven guys because John Wall is out now because he came in contact and they have to do this whole contact tracing thing now with Houston because because of Ben McLemore testing positive and also KJ Martin testing positive, but then also testing negative. So that's a mess. And because of all of that, the people in contact have to go do their contact tracing and they have to be in isolation and do the quarantine stuff. So that means that John Wall who has been, you know, hasn't played a, a real NBA game in over two years, has to now wait again, you know. And I feel terrible for John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins because they came to this team thinking, hey, we're going to be a solid team in the West. We're going to be a playoff team. We've been dealing with injuries for the past couple of years and we haven't really played at our level. We've just been fighting, doing all the rehab and all the training to make sure that we're back in shape. And we're finally back, and James Harden fucked it up for all of us. And look, James Harden, um, I see some people defending him and just saying that, like, what could he do? And it's like, oh, you can tell he just wants to leave Houston. And look, I get if he wants to leave Houston. I definitely don't have a problem with that, or I definitely don't see anything wrong with that. You know, he says he says, sees there's no path for him to win a championship in Houston. He's a star, a superstar, you know, he wants to leave, but the Houston Rockets are clearly not respecting his decision because no one wants to do a deal with him without giving up too much. And because of that, Harden's just kind of stuck in Houston. And with all of that, James Harden is just completely ignoring COVID guidelines. He is going out to clubs, going out to strip clubs. And last night, video came out of him at some event with, you know, some maskless event with a bunch of people. It was all over IG. And it came out this morning, and then everyone's like, all right, well, James Harden's just being a fucking idiot like usual and ignoring guidelines and doesn't really care because he's been doing this again and again. And it's very clear that why he's doing this because he doesn't want, he just wants to leave and he doesn't care what the punishment is because he doesn't care if this hurts the Rockets because he wants to leave Houston. But you're putting lives in danger here. That's the issue. That's the actual issue here. So, you know, it's funny, kind of, that he's just like, how much he doesn't care. But if lives and, like, st and you know, people's health is being put at risk, it's not funny. And um, it's just weird because, like, you would think that after being on video all the time at these clubs, you were in Atlanta at Lil Baby's party, you were in Vegas, now you're in, you know, now you're just at an event again. And he went on Instagram, and this is probably what ticked me off the most about this whole thing, was he went on Instagram on his story, and he basically was like, I wasn't at a strip, he basically had to like explain that he wasn't at a strip club, and that he was at a party celebrating a friend's job promotion, which, okay, like, that doesn't 
excuse you from the fact that you were at a party with a lot of people without masks in the middle of a pandemic where 3,000 people are dying every day. That's what you're doing. And when you do shit like this, it shows you don't care. And I don't care if you're mad at Houston and you want to leave. This stuff is reckless. It's dangerous. And look, I'm gonna, I don't want to do this stuff. I don't like want to talk about all the COVID stuff. But look, here's my issue with stuff that James Harden does is because you have two sides of the same, uh, two different sides. Think about the NBA as a whole, right? You have James Harden on one hand who is doing, going out, partying, going to clubs and going to all these parties, not giving a fuck. And he just, because he, that's just what he's doing. He just doesn't care anymore. And then on the other hand, you have Carl Anthony Towns, right? Lost his mother to COVID and lost other family members. All of the pain and the trauma that that man had to go through. And you, he said it himself. He doesn't even feel like playing basketball anymore. Basketball isn't escape isn't an escape like people think it is, because when he plays basketball, it, he thinks of his mother and his people in his life who are now dead because of this fucking virus. So you have players like him, a guy like him who has gone through so much this year, has lost so many important people in his life, has gone through so much trauma is barely, like, staying strong, and everyone's rooting for him. And for James Harden to just do what he's doing, that fucking bothers me. I'm sorry. That fucking bothers me. Because it shows that you don't care about... Look, you don't have to care about COVID, whatever. But, like, this shit... Lives are being, you know, in trouble with this. And that's not just that you're dealing with lives, you're messing with business. And that's going to be more important to these people. Because, let's be honest, the only reason the NBA is back right now is because of the money, Right? If it was really, really up to the players, the NBA wouldn't have started yesterday. It would have been starting at like March or something, right? But because of money and, you know, deficits and cuts and budgets and stuff like that, the NBA had to start this time because that's the way it is. That's how this country is and that's how the system is. It's fucked up, but it's it's what it is. So it just bothers me that you have James Harden just like kind of doing all this reckless shit because now he's putting people in danger and he's putting the NBA in danger because of tonight's postponed game. So this is something the NBA is going to have to figure out how to deal with. Like, how would you deal with this? And also, this situation isn't going to be the only one, unfortunately. You could argue that, hey, it's an isolated incident with Houston. They have a track record of not being able to take the virus seriously. Remember, before the bubble, Westbrook had it and Harden had it. So... You know, they have never really were known for doing a good job of handling it in the first place. So the fact that this happened with them isn't as surprising, which I get. But this is going to be an issue that's going to come up again during the season multiple times. And the NBA is going to have to learn how to deal with it. Because the last thing we need is what the NFL had. Because you could argue that they're doing fine when, you know, it's week 17 and it's almost time for the playoffs. But think of all of the mess that happened, right? Think of all of the postponed games. Think of all of the players that were out and in and out. Think of the players who were out during games and getting COVID and all that stuff. And it just makes it harder in the NBA because you don't have a week to figure out all this stuff. You don't have a week to do any contact tracing because games are like two days apart. And also you're inside with a bunch of sweaty guys in contact. Not a good idea for a viral infection. But... This is just bothering me, like, and I'm worried about what the NBA is going to do. I hope that uh, James Harden gets, like, fair punishment, you know? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if Houston should get punished for this. You could argue maybe because of just how reckless they are. Or you can argue that James Harden himself should be, you know, have to deal with consequences, and I think he should. I don't know what. It could be a fine or suspension. I think he should get suspended indefinitely because when you do this, you're not just hurting your team, but also... Here's the thing, when James Harden does this because he wants to leave Houston and it shows he wants to leave, like he doesn't care about Houston anymore, Does this? isn't this bad for other teams too? Like, aren't you also ruining your rep? Because when you go out and do parties and go out and stuff like that, that also shows to other teams that he doesn't really take this stuff seriously anyway. So yeah, you might be doing a good thing in the short term because you want to get out of Houston, but if you're not going to you know, control your act, then any other team you go to, they're going to have to deal with the consequences too, right? Like, if James Harden gets traded to the Sixers and he's and Harden's still going out to clubs in Philly, 
that's still going to be a problem, right? Like, the issue for me isn't just that, oh, James Harden wants to leave. And look, that's part of it, but it's him. Like, his actions are putting people in danger, and it's putting the season and games in general in danger. So, the reckless shit that he's doing, he's going to have to cut it out. And, you know, if he doesn't, then he should get the consequences for it. That's just the way it should be. Uh, I, I don't. Some people will say it might be too harsh to do a suspension for a decent amount of time. I don't care. Lives are being put at risk. You're playing a sport in the middle of a pandemic, which is already dangerous. And when you have the players already doing reckless stuff like this, it's just, it ain't it. All right. That's all. I'm going to give, I just wanted to kind of ramble about this because when the game got postponed, when I saw the tweet that the game got postponed, it kind of bothered me for some reason, like a little bit more just because it could have been avoidable, kind of. But this is where we are. This is where we are with the NBA right now. It has been only two days, not even, 24 hours, and we're already dealing with this. It's going to be a very, very long season. And hopefully this doesn't become a regular thing, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Comment down below what you think about this whole situation. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, show your support, and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.